My second day in Milford Sound felt like the most difficult day from my whole landscape photography tour of New Zealand South Island. Oh, like five of them and the there. sand flies did not make it any easier for me. They just feast. This land-based bird is called a wecker and is far more pleasant than the sand flies. With views like this, the photography had to continue. And little did I know that this photo would be my most successful photo to date, with over 100,000 likes on Instagram in four days. Our photography adventure continues as we head north in search of more beautiful landscapes. And at the end of the day, we find ourselves in Queenstown with a beautiful view like this. But will we make any beautiful landscape photography photos? Well, first we must get there and there is some beautiful landscape to be seen on the way. What really caught my attention about this river is how we're getting this reflective glow of the morning light from the trees on the water. And it's an abstract photo with my telephoto lens at 100 mm using the Fujifilm G650F2 and a polarizer. And it is a really abstract photo. I will put a photo up, I hope you enjoy it. Well, we've reached the traffic lights before we go into the Humna Tunnel and I just wanted to get out and just show you the how amazing this place is. I mean, it is truly, truly amazing. There are just sheer granite walls. It's like a bowl. We're literally in a bowl, a granite bowl, and there is a little tunnel there, hand dug tunnel that goes through this mountain right here and it is stunning. This has got to be one of the best drives in the world, without a doubt. So there's an absolutely beautiful waterfall just, just behind me down here, there's a walkway. And uh, I don't think my 30mm lens is wide enough and there's quite a bit of wind around so I don't think I'll be able to get a good photo of that. But there are some beautiful trees just behind me here. They've got some backlight on them and then some clouds coming over and there's some cloud um, diffusing the light. And I just, again, another panoramic photo of those trees with the mountains behind them. Quite abstract. Really like it. I hope you like it too. Awesome panoramic here where we've got some trees that are framing the mountain in the background. It just looks stunning. And again, the polarizer is doing a fantastic job of just taking the edge off those bright areas on those green leaves. And it's enhancing the contrast um, within the trees and the tree branches, but also in the mountain in the background. And it just looks on the, on the back of the camera. It looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'll put a photo up. I hope you enjoy it. Well, I've just found an absolute honeypot of woodland photography photos. And you just look around, there is dead trees and moss and green. And what's quite interesting about it is it's mostly blue sky, but there are patches of cloud. And every now and again, the cloud blocks the light and that diffuse light from the cloud and then the diffuse light from the, the leaves just creates this beautiful effect really subtle light through this woodland area and I've just been going running around 
trying to create some uh, beautiful panoramic photos with the 30 millimeter and the 45 to 100 millimeter. See the light is going good again. You can just see behind me here. Like, look at the look at the light. Absolutely beautiful. I took a few photos. I will pick the best ones and I'll put them up for you. I hope you enjoy them. So we're on our way back to Queenstown. We've officially left the Milford Sound. We're now approaching Queenstown and there is some beautiful um, Red Tussock farmland here with some sheep. Wouldn't it be New Zealand if there wasn't any sheep? And uh, to be honest here, we've got another beautiful mountain range. Yeah, two panoramic photos taken with the 45 to 100 millimeter lens and the polarizer. I hope you enjoy them. My God, this place is stunningly beautiful. I just love open wide spaces like this. You can see behind me here, we're currently driving through a red tussock conservation area and there are just red tussocks everywhere. And the light at the minute, the way the light is playing through the landscape because there's clouds, we've got dappled light coming through the landscape and it's just looking absolutely beautiful. And the polarizer is doing such a good job of emphasizing that and enriching those colors. Well, we have arrived at our location for tonight's sunset shoot and it is an absolute beauty. Just been having a bit of a cup of tea here at the table and uh, we are right near the lake edge. It's quite windy tonight, as you can probably tell, but there are amazing views where we are right now. And uh, the reason we are here is because of this view behind me here. Absolutely stunning. That is the, the start of where we've just driven from. Uh, the Fjordland, New Zealand, uh, Milford Town, Fjordland, that area, it's down there, that's where it starts, those mountains and they go south. And uh, there we can see some very picturesque peaks uh, with snow-capped mountains, jagged teeth type mountains and glaciers, absolutely stunning. Um, we've got a lake that's beautiful but right now it's very very choppy, so 
if the wind drops tonight that would be amazing because we get nice reflections but if it doesn't we'll have to use uh, perhaps an ND filter I've checked the weather in the morning the, the weather is saying that there will be uh, three kilometer hour winds so hopefully in the morning we could have some quite nice reflections but we will try and do something tonight as well we've got some high level cloud happening down that end I'm glad to be here it's a great camp spot and uh, we will wait and see what the weather does so we're doing a long exposure here with the 45 to 100 millimeter lens and we've got optical image stabilization switched on and because of the amount of chop on the water we're trying to smooth that out so we've got a polarizer on there which is doing a fantastic job of um, adding some contrast to the sky and between the sky and the clouds but it's also adding some really nice contrast in the mountains between the light and the dark but then to add to that I've also added in a three stop and a six stop ND filter so essentially we've got 11 stops of ND and uh, that's giving us a really nice soft effect on the water but the problem is the shutter speed is like 13 seconds long and that's problematic um, right now for this camera and this tripod because I'm getting lots of vibrations coming up through the tripod because of the wind and that's producing an unsharp image which is not okay so we need to try and figure out what we're going to do about that well <laughs> I hate to say this but the wind is so strong that I'm not able to get a sharp photo of the scene using a long exposure technique on this tripod. Now, I don't know if it's the tripod or whether it's the wind catching the camera and the lens or the wind's just blowing the legs and the vibrations are going up, but either way, it's not working, which is a little bit disappointing, but I'm not too bothered because this water is not ideal. Um, yeah, we will just monitor, we'll monitor the weather and uh, if we get some nice light on the clouds then perhaps we'll just do a handheld shot and uh, just accept just accept the chop on the water so we'll see yeah we've still got tomorrow morning so I'm not I'm not too concerned right now we still have an opportunity to get a nice photo of this scene but it's possibly just not going to be tonight So I did just move my position to behind this bush just to give me a bit of a windbreak from the wind. And the, I've got to be honest with you, these bushes are doing a great job of providing me with that windbreak because now I'm able to create a sharp photo using a long exposure technique with a telephoto lens, with the three filters on, which is great. So now we're, we're on. We're on for a, a photo shoot this sunset. So it looks like we missed most of the last light falling across those peaks while we were trying to find a windbreak from <laughs> from this wind so I'm able to get a sharp photo I did just manage to take one photo there was just a little bit of light left on those peaks and uh, yeah I'll put it up for you now I hope you enjoy it So we are now just waiting for the sun to set and for the light to come onto these high level clouds. We're in position, I think we've got the best spot here and uh, fingers crossed it's going to happen and we'll just wait and see what happens. So we are just starting to see a little bit of colour build in the distance, a little bit of red and I've changed my composition slightly, I've reduced my focal length to 45mm which is actually adding quite a nice little S curve in the foreground here is some foreground interest and uh, so we're going to finish up now with our final photo. 15 second exposure at F8 ISO 200 and yeah final photo for tonight I think because the light has pretty much gone now and yeah I actually think that was a really good move adding that foreground interest looks really cool I'll put a photo up and uh, we're going to call it quits for tonight we will wake up in the morning and we will come out and hopefully hopefully the weather predictions are correct and we should have beautifully calm water fingers crossed I'll see you in the morning.
the colour is really starting to build quite nicely on those clouds down there. We're getting some really nice contrast in the colour between the red on the clouds and the blue in the shadows and this turquoisey reddy colour oh, reflecting on the water. It's looking really nice and uh, yeah, what more can I say? It's a beautiful morning's photo. We are going to change our composition in a minute. We're going to move further away from the shoreline and try and bring in some of this lake edge into the photo as a bit of foreground interest. Well, there's some really nice colour starting to build on those peaks now and on those clouds, those high level clouds sitting above those peaks. I did just take a photo of the first light of the big peak on the right and it was a beautiful photo I think. I'll put that up for you now to look at. What a beautiful scene. I'm so glad I got up this morning to photograph this. And I'm really liking this composition with this curve in the foreground. It's a bit of a wider panoramic than I've been doing here. We set the uh, lens to 45 millimeters, so we are capturing more of the scene, which I think is quite nice. And yeah, now we're just waiting. We're waiting for some light just to fall on the top of all of those peaks. And I think that will be the final photo of today. So I think the time has now come to take our final photo because the light is looking really beautiful on the top of those peaks. We've got a little bit of light on, on each of those peaks and it's looking really beautiful. So we're going to take the photo. We are focusing on the peak. We've got manual focus, we've checked focus and we've got sharpness from the foreground all the way to infinity. And that's with the lens, the 45 to 100 millimeter lens set to 45 millimeter f11 and we're ISO 200 and it is a 30 second exposure with three filters on. The three filters are a polarizer, which is doing a great job of revealing some of the shadows and adding a little bit of micro contrast in there. And then we've got a uh, two filters, a three stop ND filter and a six stop ND filter. So we've essentially got 11 stops of ND and that's, that's doing a, a fantastic job of smoothing out this water. That's looking absolutely beautiful. What a photo. And there we have it. Beautiful photo, nice and sharp. Front to back. Absolutely magnificent. Well, I'm really happy with this morning's photo shoot. Yeah, so what I'll do is I will put up the best photos from today's video at the end of this video for you to see. And yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been a, a, a really awesome road trip. We've traveled from uh, fjords through mountain gorges and fjords through ancient forests and through red tussock fields um, along narrow windy lake edge roads to beautiful lakes that are surrounded by these beautiful mountains. What a day, what a trip, what an experience. I hope you've enjoyed it. So like and subscribe to the video, go to my website, check out my prints, check out my merchandise. Thank you very much and I will see you next time. Bye for now.